Alright guys, we are back for the anti-Rizzo finals. Here's how the bracket laid out from the original. And I had to decide, because I wanted to do it as a Twitter poll, which four plays I was going to choose. So I was going to go over it here with you guys in my thought process. Now, there is the choice of like, do I go with the ones that are closest in percentage to beating Rizzo? Sometimes it really doesn't matter. It's all about how the votes kind of trended uh, throughout. Uh, so, like, the allot deflection. It won 50-50 versus Rizzo. I didn't include that one because I feel like the other um, allot deflection, it made it further in the bracket. It almost made it to the finals. I'm going to choose that one. Don't want to choose many more like allot deflections, so that's one of the uh, plays in the anti-Rizzo final. Again, I'm going to choose four plays. The other one, have to go with the Timmy uh, deflection. So again, it's the other semifinal game. I feel like that would be uh proper to have that one as the other one then the other two i took from this upper side of the bracket because i just thought the plays were insanely good i could have went with like a violent panda double tap or the remco sexy trap but i felt like those plays were not as good as the gimmick air dribble pass that's absolutely insane and the tie knot tyler aerial give and go so i'm going to include those two the allot deflection and the timmy deflection in to just one giant poll you guys vote who you think is going to win we will play the videos that i made way back all the way back in round number one for all four of these in case you missed any of those plays you can go ahead and watch those uh but besides that here goes the vote for the anti rizzo final of the top plays bracket make sure you vote it'll be in the description and the comments below thank you rizzo There is not many words for this gimmick pass and play. I just shake my head in disgust and how good gimmick is. Let's watch this again. Look at this play. So Squishy gets the pass over to gimmick, and this is what Cloud9 does best. They didn't do it that well this season, but this was also in the playoff versus EG for the third place game. And gimmick, he goes through the trap, then goes off the ceiling, then flips and perfectly flip reset or, or uh, cancels the flip so the ball lands right on his hood and then to top it all off he sees chrome he sees him he's just waiting he's waiting for that ball to drop down a little bit more turns his car around a little bit gets a little bit more boost just to tap it over chrome as well look at that just barely missing out and then you know why not let's hit it off our, our back wheel as well to throw off the defense even more perfectly places it in that corner say he doesn't hit it off his back wheel there corrupted g could possibly make that save instead it just gets perfectly placed in that bottom corner and torment finishes off and we need to see this again because holy hell let's just start from the start here we go this isn't even the same play anymore i don't even know what's going on that was really really weird <laughs> we're gonna keep going back here oh god things are breaking here we go we'll start from here he traps it off the thing jumps off the ceiling only has 55 boost left which is a pretty decent amount but gets underneath the ball and then look oh the cancel to perfectly put that on his bumper and then that's it that's all chrome could do let's go over to chrome real quick while this is playing out and just see what he saw he sees it. He sees gimmick. Then he's like, oh crap, he still got more boost, but I already jumped. Tries to get up there, but gimmick just barely places it by Chrome. And then look at that. Corrupted G's waiting, waiting for that ball to come down. Instead, though, that extra little tap from gimmick puts it in a great spot so Torment can finish it just before Corrupted G makes it. And this one could be one of the favorites to win it all, in my opinion. But there you go, gimmick. A beautiful play. Sometimes life isn't fair, and uh, this is one of those examples of, like, I'm never going to be this good at Rocket League. We see here, Seabass doing a nice team play here uh, with the Legion's Illusion off the corner. Ty Knight Tyler passes it back, flies while still in the air from the previous pass to line himself up for a pass. And just look at this again. He hits it. He gets banked off the ball just a little bit, like, loses some of that momentum, but he still readjusts. He sees the pass to Illusion. And he's just hoping. He's praying. And look at that. Using every single ounce. I don't even know what you call it. Unit of boost here. 
Ty Knight Tyler gets it done. Let's go over to Illusion's point of view just to see what he saw here. So let's hop on over to him. And Illusion, he's coming up. He's like, all right, we're just keeping pressure here. I will center it. Oh, crap. Ty Knight Tyler's a little too close. All right. Uh, you're still flying to that? Okay. <laughs> and just drop it down. Like I do like the touch here. He's got zero boost. He can't do a lot. I love how he doesn't jump off the wall to try and, like, move this ball any quicker he just needs to get it off the back side of his car as we go into fly view really quick just want to show this he just has to hit it like right off that like bottom ish part of the car just to direct it down he also gets a little bit of help because he's on the curve of the ceiling so it makes it a little bit easier to drop it a little bit lower for ty not tyler and then of course ty not tyler with the finish hato sitting in that like what am i gonna do and we'll look at it one more time from ty not tyler's perspective on the fly camera and let's see how this beauty looks. Actually, we'll go to uh, some ball cam here. I don't even know how to do that, so we might not do that. All right, ball cam. Here we go. This is what we want. All right. Tyler Tyler goes up. Just oh, just the position of him to get up so quickly. And Hato just has no, ch no chance. One of the better goals, I think, in this bracket. Let's see how far it goes. But that... There it is, Ty Not Tyler pulling off something incredible during the promotion tournament versus Out of Style. And uh, yeah, I want to see how far this one goes. Game five, CLG versus Out of Style. One of the series that could have potentially kept CLG out of the promotion tournament and none other than Timmy making the big plays. What a shot here. What a clutch shot that we know Timmy for. Always making these clutch plays. This deflection comes off the wall. He grabs the boost and then immediately boosts. And then he has to boost back towards the net. We'll slow it down here. He boosts back towards Out of Style's net just to get a piece. And top corner, Epic Johnny has no shot. Hado has no shot. Beautiful shot there from Timmy. We'll look at it from Epic Johnny's point of view because why not? Just to see how good of a shot this was. He's on his way back. He doesn't think Timmy's going to go for this. He does. And there's not much that you can do there. There is not much at all. Hato, can you do anything about this? I don't think so either. He sees Dapper up. He immediately retreats. He's getting back. Timmy flies over his head. You don't expect that touch. You just don't expect it. They have to pump the brakes. Don't want to own goal. Say that's crossbar and out. But it's crossbar and in. And Timmy... A play that almost saved CLG season. Unfortunately, it didn't matter in the long run. They still went down to the promotion tournament, and that was that. But Timmy, a beautiful clutch shot to make it onto the list. All I can do is shake my head in disgust at times when I see a lot going off the back wall. This time, didn't even go for some other weird offensive play to put him on the back wall. He just drives up there. He's just ready to go. He started on the ground when this pass came to him. And then look at this shot. A lot. Just pass the ball. It's such an easier play a lot. You have Magnus wide open. This just isn't fair a lot. You're not supposed to score these goals. But he does it again here. And I just want to watch this a few times because a lot. You need to stop. You need to stop. Pass the ball to Magnus. Give Magnus some stats, man. Dear God, what a shot from a lot coming from the angle. We'll slow it down here. Look at this. The pass comes up. He's not even close to the wall yet. Then he goes to the wall, comes off of it, and just like perfect. Like doesn't waste any movement whatsoever to put this on net. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. And again, we'll go over to Magnus because we'll just see like, man, I can just throw this ball wherever I want. And then like I get for like free assists. Like this is great. He's seeing it. He's expecting a pass, too. I think everyone's expecting a pass, and it just goes right in. I Ignite trying to guard the wall, which probably wouldn't have been the smartest move anyway, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter at all. He's, he's not saving this ball. No one expects this. Beautiful shot from lot. He makes the list once again with an incredible deflection. A lot. you need to stop. You need to stop at some point. All right, guys, there you have it. Uh, we showed all four plays in case you missed them throughout from the previous rounds for the anti-Rizzo final. One giant Twitter poll to decide who will win the anti-Rizzo final for the top plays bracket. Uh, so make sure you go and vote. We'll have it up for a few days. And then, uh, then it's World Championship time. So definitely come out and check for that. I'll probably do a quick video uh, after the World Championships to 
let you know who the winners were from the previous rounds of the Rizzo one, because that poll is probably still going on as well as you're watching this video, and for the anti-Rizzo final. And then, of course, we will have um, some top plays from the World Championship to talk about, so we might do something with that as well. I haven't decided if I am going to do that or not yet. Again, I'm going to be on vacation for the week after the World Championship, so don't expect it then. Expect it a little bit further down the road. Uh, but that'll do it for me, guys. Thank you so much for enjoying this bracket, and uh, we'll see you next time.